from the Technology Center on the campus of Herkimer College. This is HCTV News, a student-produced newscast covering Herkimer County and the community it serves. Good afternoon and welcome to HCTV News. I'm Jack Sen. And I'm Bridget Roberts. Thank you for joining us today. This is a student-produced broadcast run by the Communication Arts Program here at Herkimer College. We'll be here every Tuesday at 1 as well as a 30-minute broadcast on Thursdays at 5. The Herkimer General Baseball team will be headed to Florida this week for spring training. Cody Mooney is live in the Athletic Center with shortstop Pat Dorian. Cody? Well, thank you, Bridget. Spring training is right around the corner for the Herkimer Generals baseball team. And joining me today is starting shortstop Pat Dorian. Pat, you're just getting done with baseball, but it is time to start, or you just got done with basketball, but it's time to start baseball season. How is this trip to Orlando, Florida on Thursday going to impact the team? Uh, it's only going to benefit us. Uh, we we'll play 10 games in a week, so I mean, we'll have the fatigue factor. And also, so I think overall, just get us ready to go for the coming up season. A lot of games in a short amount of time, so we'll be ready to go. And I look at the weather report, it's going to be 85 degrees down there. How great is that going to be for the pitcher's arms? It's only going to benefit them, and if they pitch well, it only benefits our hitters too. Puts a lot of pressure off of us, so I mean, hopefully they'll increase their miles per hour on their fastballs and breaking pitches only better, so it'll benefit. And um, right now, I mean, it's tough. You guys are working inside a lot, hitting in the cage, working on fielding, fielding ground balls inside. How tough is that to be stuck inside while other teams down south are progressing? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's not easy, but uh, it's, we, that's all we got right now with the bad weather and everything. So, I mean, once we get to Ford, I, I'm sure we'll, we'll all just be so excited. It won't even matter. We'll just be ready to go. And, Pat, you're... Verbally committed to play ball at St. John's next year. If you had one thing to say to the kids that are competing for a college spot while down in Florida, what could you say to them? Uh, just you never know who's watching. And a lot of coaches say it, but it's true. It's just play your hardest no matter what, run on off the field, try to keep a good attitude. Well, Pat, you have a great attitude, and I wish the best of luck to you and the team down at Orlando this week. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, Bridget, if you want to catch any of the updates on the Herkimer Generals bas baseball team, you can catch that on the Herkimer Generals athletic page at herkimergenerals.edu forward slash baseball. Reporting live for HGTV News, I'm Cody Mooney. Back to you in the studio, Bridget. Thank you, Cody. We here at HGTV would like to wish the Herkimer Generals baseball team good luck on their spring training session down in Florida. Enjoy the weather. If you are a hard-working, on-campus Herkimer College student, consider becoming a residence assistant. As an RA, you must be a resident of one of Herkimer College's dorms and will maintain the happiness, success, and health of the residents. You will be responsible for creating fun programs and events for your residents to go to, all while building great leadership skills. If you are interested in becoming an RA, you must attend a mandatory meeting. There are three meetings left this semester, March 10th from 7 to 7.45, March 22nd from 12.30 to 1.20, and March 24th from 7 to 7.45. All of these meetings will be held in RMCC 288. You must also bring two letters of recommend recommendation. For more information, please visit www.herkimer.edu slash housing, or contact the Residence Life Office located at Campus Meadows by calling 315-8627-2222 or via email at reslifehousing at herkimer.edu. This past Tuesday here in Herkimer, a chemical spill had emergency crews swarming Bassett Healthcare. The situation was quickly handled and left us wondering, what does Herkimer College have in place to protect students around hazardous materials? For our, the campus safety department, the officers go through uh, some haz hazardous material training through the academy in their initial hire hiring points and training. 
As Matt's situation at Bassett Healthcare occurred when a machine used for sterilization malfunctioned, leaving six employees exposed to harmful chemicals. Here at Herkimer College, we have several state-of-the-art science labs equipped with eyewash and shower stations in case of emergency. If exposure were to happen, campus safety would leave, lead an evacuation and emergency preparedness teams would be called in to respond to the situation. Head of Campus Safety Timothy Rogers says that there is also a hazardous materials committee here on campus that meets monthly to discuss trace levels of chemicals in the labs and what chemical students are handling. March 19th, Herkimer College will be holding an open house here on campus. The open house will be held between 9.30 a.m. and 12.30 p.m. This event is a great way for prospective students to come in and learn what programs and services Herkimer College has to offer. Meet faculty and students, tour the campus, and get answers to all your burning questions. Student ambassadors will be on hand to assist you around campus during the day. Herkimer College offers more than 40 degree programs and is ranked in the top 100 U.S. community colleges for student success. Our athletic program is also ranked as number one in the nation as a two-year program. You can even come and visit us here in the news studio where we shoot our Associated Press award-winning news broadcast. If you can't attend the open house, schedule a visit by calling admissions at 315-574-4028. We'll be right back with a check of the weather with Laura Arabia. I'm Bridget Roberts. And I'm Jack Sen. Stay with us here on HCTV News. Coming up next, the weather outlook for Herkimer and the surrounding areas here on HCTV News. Stay with us. Make the right connections with your communication arts degree from Herkimer College. Interested in radio? Meant to DJ? Then Herkimer College's radio TV program is the program for you. Learn all about the radio industry, record your own show, or even produce a live one. The possibilities are endless. For more information about communication arts programs at Herkimer College, visit www.herkimer.edu. Community media, from my point of view, is um, organic. It's power. Public access to me uh, gives me an opportunity to get my word out to the uh, larger community of the town that I can't get to on my own. This is good programming. This is what people say, well, how come they don't ever write anything good in the news, right? This is the good news. What we're doing is critical, it's important. We have to stay energized and motivated to do this work in our community, but understand that our real mission is to hold up our part as we encourage others to hold up their part around the planet. The weather outlook for Herkimer and the surrounding areas, here on HCTV News. Welcome back to HCTV News. I'm Jack Sen. I'm Bridget Roberts. And I'm Laura Raby with HCTV News Weather. Well, guys, I am very happy to say that it is warming up. Thank the Lord. It's an early spring. It's about time. I know, seriously, and I am so for it. What do they call it? Spring ahead or something? I don't know. But. Just in time for spring break, too. <laughs> exactly. All right, well, let's go take a look at the radar for today, guys, courtesy of weatherunderground.com. All right, right now, as you can tell, 64 degrees, very clear outside, very sunny. I'm loving this weather right now. Tonight's forecast is going to be... A little bit cloudy, a little bit rainy, low 44 degrees. Tomorrow's forecast is going to be cloudy, peaks of sun though, high 67 degrees, low 51 degrees. Thursday is going to be rainy, some clouds, some thunderstorms, which I absolutely love, so I'm happy about that. High 59 degrees, low 40 degrees. Friday is going to be partly cloudy, clear, clearing later though, which is good. High 51 degrees, low 31 degrees. 
Now let's take a look at our extended forecast. Saturday is going to be partly cloudy, high 53 degrees, low 40 degrees. Sunday is going to be cloudy, some rain showers, high 58 degrees, low 44 degrees. And Monday is going to be the same thing, some clouds with showers, high 55 degrees, low 42 degrees. All right, thanks Laura for the update. We'll be back with more on HCTV News after these messages. Stay with us. Jump into the world of radio production and electronic media My at Herkimer County Community College's 91.5 FM WVHC. When the semester kicks in, students take over the airwaves, turning their dreams and ideas into real live radio. Topping Herkimer County Community College news today with graduation soon approaching. Are you the next big voice? Find your home on the airwaves at Herkimer County Community College and WVHC. For more information, go to www.herkimer.edu. Families come in all sizes and shapes. Sometimes your friends are your family by choice, or sometimes you're just stuck with Uncle Charles. But what we know is that you want to protect the people that are close to you. But the flu can unravel everything. Your flu vaccine protects you and your family. No matter what draws your family together, protect yourself, protect your family. Everyone needs a flu vaccine. Welcome back to HCTV News. I'm Jack Sen. And I'm Bridget Roberts. A final check of the weather is coming right up. But first, we want to check back in with Cody Mooney in the Athletic Center. We join him now with Pat Dorian. Cody? Thanks, guys. And as Pat was saying, spring training is right around the corner for the Herkimer Generals baseball team. But that's not all. They will be leaving this Thursday at 6 o'clock a.m. Yes, they will be up bright and early to hit their flight to Orlando, Florida. Their first game, you can catch it on the Herkimer Generals webpage against the Division II Lincoln Land Community College out of Chicago, Illinois. It's a top D2 school, and it's going to be a great matchup. You guys do not want to miss this one. So for Jack and Bridget, back to you guys in the studio. Hope you can watch the game as well. All right, thanks a lot, Cody. Time for one last check of the weather. We're back now with Laura Arabia. All right, guys, let's just go over the weather one last time. Tonight it's going to be cloudy, chance of rain, low 44. And tomorrow it's going to be cloudy, peaks of sun, though, high 67 degrees, low 51 degrees. Have a good week, guys. Thank you for watching today here on HCTV News. You can always find previous episodes of HCTV News and other Herkimer College communication arts on content on our YouTube channel. I'm sorry for that. We're also on Facebook under Herkimer <laughs> College Communication Arts. We hope to see you again next Tuesday for another edition of HCTV News, live from Herkimer College. Have a good night. <laughs>